Claudine, I love this date we are on. It is making me think about kissing. Nev, I do not know what you just said because I cannot stop thinking about kissing. Do you want to do it on the mouth? Yes. However, first I need to know where we are. Huh. Where we are? The place where we live? Yes. Huh. I wonder. How to find out where I live dot com. Has this ever happened to you? Sitting around and wondering to yourself how to find out where I live dot com? Click it. Hi. My name is not your business, and I'm the founder of www.howtofindoutwhereilive.com, a website that's on the internet for your business. People all over the world live in a place, but do they know where that place is? Hi. One day on January 24th, I walked so far in a straight line that I wound up where I was originally. And then I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder where I live. That's when I decided to create the website www.howtofindoutwhereilive.com so that you too can find out where I live. Go to the website, see the phone number, and find out where we live. One of our two highly trained professionals will answer your call. They used to have jobs like Google and making the cows laugh. Now their job is us. Hello, how to find out where I live? You live in the house. Sweet, I love the house. It is all around me? It is giving you a hug. Oh, this hug is cold. Goodbye. Hello, how to find out where I live? You live in the big apple. Like worm. Like worm. I will eat your rot. Goodbye. Hello, how to find out where I live? You do not. Oh, goodbye. How to find out where I live dot com is where you'll find out where I live. As for me, I live here interior of a carcass. Good night. Go to our website now to see our phone number now to call now. Calls are not free, but also we do not accept money. cha -ching. After the success of expanding the Holmes Literary Universe with the new movie about Sherlock's inquisitive little sister, Enola Holmes, we've decided to explore the Holmes family tree even further here at Netflix, presenting a new series about Sherlock's lovable, goofy cousin, Boner Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is without a trace, you know Boner Holmes will take the case. Boner Holmes! I'll say it's a pretty messed up scene, mate. The victim's face is torn clean off. I hope you found some kind of clue. I didn't find anything myself. What about you, Boner Holmes, sir? Well, Charles, it may have been difficult, but I think I found a clue that may blow this whole case wide open. Wow, Boner Holmes, you're amazing. Quite. For you see, this ground black pepper by the body is no ordinary spill. But directions to what I believe are... <laughs> directions to what I believe are... <laughs> directions to what I believe are... <laughs> oh, no. It's ruined. Oh, no. oh, oh no. <laughs> That was our only Classic boner. <laughs> Do you know on the way over here he tripped while standing still? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see how that's relevant. There's a serial killer on the loose. <laughs> it's all right, sir. We'll go ahead and call your older cousin Sherlock. <laughs> well, 
You and I both know he's out of town. <laughs> You know, I ought to say, in this here year of 1890, I see a lot of dark stuff. But you always brighten my day, Boner. This is serious! The victim's face is missing! I say, the culprit should have seen your face, sir. <laughs> so, then, what do we do then, huh? Just do nothing? Just stand here and do nothing? Boner Homes I'm in a bit of a crisis mode because my adult kickball team was supposed to have a Zoom tonight, but everyone had to cancel, except for me and Pam. Susie and I get along great. In fact, that's my main concern. Zooming one-on-one -on -one is a friend level thing and I'm really not sure how it's gonna affect our relationship as best acquaintances. We have been best acquaintances for over 10 years now. We probably first started chatting at that water fountain near the parking lot. Now that's where a lot of people connect because, well, sometimes you gotta wait in line, so. I can't remember exactly what we were talking about, but it was probably about how the weekend was going or how the upcoming week was going to go. But I remember thinking clearly, this is the beginning of a beautiful acquaintanceship. We have the best time just talking about life. I have no idea where she grew up or where she lives. Now I know that she's from Wisconsin and every time that she says she's hungry, I always joke with her and I tell her I'm gonna get her a huge reel of cheddar cheese for Christmas. She I never, never actually, actually has. had. <laughs> I've actually gone vegan a few years ago, but I think it is so lovely that she always remembers that I lived in Wisconsin during my eighth grade year. The key to a strong acquaintanceship is just to remember one thing about a person and just bring it up every time you see him. Now that is what best acquaintances are for. Sometimes we don't see each other for months, but then we pick back up as if no time has passed at all. We are always able to dive right into the weather. The weather is never quite how we want it to be. Sometimes it's too hot or too cold, or sometimes there's too much rain or not enough rain. Oh, she has said some funny things about snow. Um, I can't really remember what any of them are right now, but we have definitely laughed about snow. <laughs> snow! It is such a weather condition. And one time after drinks with our team, we were both hungry, so we decided to stay back and grab dinner together. And that was one thing we did one time and then never thought to do again. Well, there was this one time that we were at the same movie theater and um, we sat next to each other. That was, that was a close call, but uh, she left right after Harrison Ford's character died and I stayed to watch the closing credits, so it worked out perfectly. I know that if either of us ever had a problem and needed anything, anything at all, we would call our mutual friend Nikki and then the other might hear about it later on. Okay, time for the Zoom. My internet's, My internet's down. down. She'll understand. I bet it's because of all this rain. What's up guys, it's Pixel Joe here coming at you again with another gaming history video. Okay, this week I want to talk about the history behind Nintendo's sound effects. From the moment that Super Mario hit our screens, even sounds as simple as coin collecting have been embedded into our culture. <laughs> but there's some very interesting history behind one very iconic sound. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> That's right, it's the sound of Mario getting sucked down a pipe. And as simple as it sounds now, some early drafts just released from the Nintendo Vault show just how difficult it was to arrive at the classic. Now, what we're about to hear is the very first ever warp pipe sound effect. Take a listen. Ah! Wow, I cannot believe they didn't go with that one. 
Alrighty, Hiro Kazu Tanaka, Nintendo's chief sound effect engineer, showing his genius at work by going with a realistic approach to the sound of somebody falling down an open sword drain. <laughs> and he only improves upon it by the second draft. <laughs> decided to add the underground levels and falling down a pipe killed Mario horrifically. That might seem to be too much for a kid's game, but at the time, Shigeru Miyamoto thought it was an important lesson to teach kids not to fall down pipes. Okay, well, ultimately, they decided to add a little more to enhance the game's story. No, no, please. I have a family. Ah! Wait. Where am I? Uh, there's, there's something down here. I can't see anything. What did I just what? What did I just Oh god, oh god, it's a skeleton. Fuck! Fuck! Wow! I know that if I had heard that eerily realistic blood curdling scream when I was playing the original NES game, I would have needed help. So how did Miyamoto and Tanaka find their way to the warp pipe noise that we know today? Well, after many hours of research throwing Nintendo developers down the well outside, one of them made a glug 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 noise as he was drowning. <laughs> That's what inspired Tanaka to take that glug 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 sound and turn it into... Well, at least that's the story from one gaming developer who claims to have escaped the well. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Once again, I'm Pixel Joe, Gamer Historian, and I'll see you again here next week when we find out how many people died to make the Mario scream when he falls into lava. <laughs> like and subscribe, Nintendo Geeks! Homes. Well, I don't know how you did it, Boner Holmes, but you did! You solved the mystery and caught the crook. I'm innocent! I was on my way to work the whole time! An unlikely story, and one you might even get away with if it wasn't for this critical evidence. This commemorative plate implicates your guilt. Your guilt! Your guilt! I got it! Don't worry, Boner's not getting it! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the evidence! Oh. Well, I guess you're free to go. Huh, sweet! Why? Well, what on earth are we going to persecute him on? Shattered porcelain? <laughs> it appears you've served the crook a second chance, sir. <laughs> well, the man was wanted for butchering men and assuming their identities. Well, at least no one would want to assume your identity right now. <laughs> oh, wait until the girls at Scotland Yard hear about this. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please don't tell the girls about this. Too late. <laughs> I got the call. What happened? Bonus solved the case. Oh, great. And then destroyed the evidence. <laughs> Classic boner. <laughs> oh, by the way, someone has assumed your identity and stolen your inheritance. See ya. Oh, oh man! Boner homes. This election has been hard on all of us. Here at QVC, we know that. That's why we're excited to announce our newest product, the self-care package for liberals who know Trump supporters. We have a wide variety of products for all you liberals working hard to get Trump out of office. Relax with our My Body, My Choice bath salt. Black out Trump supporters with our Beats by Joe noise-canceling headphones. We know what an ordeal it is to have even just a short conversation with a Trump supporter. And God forbid if one of them is in your family. 
you don't have to change them, but you're probably going to try. And that is brave. In fact, it is exhausting. So now, take a break from fighting the good fight with our liberal self-care package. Do you get stressed out by looking at the news? No, you can't. No, you can't handle it. Don't change the channel. Just keep watching Bravo. <laughs> Use our custom remote. It only has Bravo. Listen to our inspirational RBG affirmation. Delete without respect to persons. Thank God for Ruth. <sighs> now, for just $9.99 for a limited time only, you can also get a custom IUD before the Supreme Court gets rid of birth control. <sighs> okay, here we go. Self-care package for liberals fighting against Trump supporters, getting you ready for anything you have to face. Don't feel rejuvenated until you check the news. <sighs> he tweeted, what? I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but if the next person who fucking moves here, the fucking head will be blown the fuck up. Who caught them? Is it you? No, no, no. Hey, hello? Who is this? How'd you get this number? Listen. There's a lot of police down here, and all they want to do is hurt you, but I'm here to make sure everything's okay. All I need you to know is that I'm your friend down here. You're my friend? <laughs> yes, I'm your friend. My name is Arthur. What's yours? Luke, wow. I can't believe we're friends. I mean, that's so cool. Do you want to, like, come over and play video games? <laughs> uh, that actually sounds pretty cool. Uh, I, I love video games. What's your favorite video game, friend? Well, I love, I prefer the classics, but I really love Spyro. Oh my god, I didn't think anybody remembered Spyro! <laughs> I love that series. Yo, that's so weird. But, uh, I can't... I can't play right now because of, you know, work and all. I oh, know, work sucks. Anyway, let me know when you're off the clock and maybe we can get some ice cream. Ben and Jerry's on Marlowe Street? The one and only. Okay, favorite flavor on three. One, two, three. Terry Garcia. Garcia. What? What, dude? We have a sniper in position. Should we take him out? Oh, no way. That's my friend up there. All right, uh, Luke, look. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, 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 no problem, dude. Just text me later and let me know. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So anyway, I know you got a bunch of hostages up there. Um, could you uh, put one of them on the phone so I know everything's okay? For you, anything. Secret handshake? <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey. Get on this phone and talk to my best friend, or, uh, or else you'll pay. Hello? Please, please help us! Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Lisa? Arthur? Can you put me back on the line, please? Hey, what's up? Is that Lisa over there? Yeah, you know. Been hanging out. But, but, you know we had a thing, right? Oh, sorry, man. I, I thought you two were over. Over? We're just taking a break. Ah! Look, man, I don't, I don't know what happened to you. We used to be friends. We used to be cool. But friends don't do that to each other. 
Come on, man. No, you come on. I can't believe you. You're so... You're such an asshole! Don't say that, Arthur. I don't want to talk to you anymore! So do we take the shot or not? Oh, hey! Oh, hey man, what's... What's going on? Oh, not much. Uh, I'm doing good. Pretty well, pretty well. See, you settled down. Yeah. I guess I did. Lisa? Nah, that, uh, that didn't work out. Well, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, nice seeing you. Yeah, you too. Well, cheers, I guess. <laughs> cheers. So tell me, uh, tell me something about yourself. Oh, well, I love food. So actually, this is one of my favorite restaurants, so I'm so happy that we came here. Oh, I, I didn't even realize. Oh, and another thing is that I'm a big fan of this show called The Office. Do you watch it? Yeah, who hasn't? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and so another thing about me is that I'm rigged to explode in exactly two minutes. You're going to explode? Yeah. <laughs> is, is that a problem? I mean, I mean, I know some people think that's a problem. Uh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. I mean, why would it be? Oh, you're so sweet. Most guys, when I tell them that, they just start screaming and running for the door and saying, oh my God, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. What? Those guys are assholes. Yeah, they all were. And I'm like, guys, it's not that weird. It's like drinking too much or like being late all the time. <laughs> right? Like, I'm, I'm a cheapskate. Yeah, it's just like one of my little quirks, you know? It's like... It's like who I am. And I think that's great. Good for you. Thank you. Oh. So, um, exploding, huh? How, do, how does how does that work? <laughs> um, can we just move on? I I want to get to know you. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, just want to make it clear, no disrespect about the exploding thing, okay? No, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, um, what do you like to do outside of work? <laughs> well, <laughs> You have one minute. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I play soccer in a rec league? Yeah? Wow, maybe you can show me some trick moves one day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can juggle uh, two balls with one foot. What? I don't believe you. Yeah, true story. Uh, and I guess uh, I should also say I really like not being exploded. Oh. Sorry. No, no. I mean, opposites attract, I guess. As they say, I, I'm sure we can find a way to make things work. Boner Homes! Charles, Constable Percy, I've worked it all out. The real killer all along was... It was me! Ha! My arch nemesis, the cousin of Professor Moriarty. Boomer Moriarty. Of course it was me. 
It's always been me, Boner Holmes. It appears we're trapped, sir. What are we gonna do? You can't win. Oh, oh but I can, Boner Holmes, for I am exactly like you, only better. You and I are not so different. Whoops! <laughs> I guess we're not as similar as you think, Oopie! That is but a shot moment away! Uh, I'll show you, murderer! Uh, oops! <laughs> you know, I'm usually better with firearms. It's the adrenaline. Oh, it's totally the adrenaline. Uh, I'm usually a great shot, goes. I demand we have a do-over! You fool, there's no do-overs in the heat of battle! Should we help? No, let them be. They'll tie themselves out eventually. Uh, you know, I handled butter before this. I also handled butter before this engagement. Oh, oopsie, boop, 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 boop. Oh. Boner Homes. <laughs>